Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It is me, Yansa. This is going to be your all signs reading for Valentine's Day. Always marriage to Pisces, what can you tell me? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Alright, we're going to start with Aries. Express your love. So somebody's going to be expressing their love for you. Or you could be expressing your love towards someone. And then it says you deserve love. So if you're single, you're like, you know what? I deserve love. I'm going to get myself some flowers. I'm going to get myself some chocolates. I'm going to really focus on loving myself and finding different ways on how to love yourself. Clarify, express your love for Aries. Healing family issues. So you're so maybe if you are single, you and your family are doing some things. I get that it could be somebody's birthday. I heard it was somebody's birthday. All right. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. You're forgiving your parents and it's going to help you express love to people or your partner. They have some things that they may need to forgive their parents for. And if until they do, they won't be able to express their love the right way. All right, Taurus. What can you expect for Valentine's Day? These are just general, you guys. Please remember that. Only take what resonates. Stay optimistic, okay? Stay optimistic, Taurus. All right? We got reconciliation at the bottom. I know my cards are jacked up. So maybe you were looking forward to reconciling with someone and it didn't happen. But stay positive because that's going to bring you romance. Okay? God has someone better. It still came out again. You want to reconcile. Mm, somebody wants to reconcile with you. What's going on, Taurus? This could be the one. You feel like you've already met the romantic partner you seek. With reconciliation. <clears throat> Some of you may be getting back together with your ex. It keeps coming out. The energy is there. Okay? But until you get over this ex, I don't see new love coming in. Just because that energy for them is still present. You've, you already feel like you've met the romantic partner you seek. But if you're upset about not being in a relationship, yes, stay optimistic, but you got to release that other person so a new person can come into your life. And I know you, I know Taurus, because I hear somebody saying, well, I see people dealing with multiple people all the time. My friends deal with their ex and new people all the time. My friend deals with their ex until they find a new person. <coughs> Excuse me. You're not them, Taurus. You're not them. Your life and your romantic life and your people, they different. All right, Gemini. Okay. Romantic feelings. Someone has romantic feelings for you. You have romantic feelings for them. We have codependency, though. Clarify romantic feelings. Express your love. Maybe you are always waiting on them to express their love first. They're always waiting on you to express your love first. <coughs> Excuse me. And that could be where that codependency is coming from. Maybe you always wait on others to tell you how they feel first. Express your love. You have romantic feelings, okay? Show how you feel. Start flirting. It is safe for you to love, so you're getting back out there. If you're single, others of you, if you do have relationships, show this person that you love them as well. Don't wait for them because maybe they could be waiting on you and both of y'all are waiting for each other. All right. Who was that, Gemini? Come on, Cancer. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Healing family issues. So it's safe for you to forgive your family or your friends, maybe. This may be something you feel like you need to do first before you can even focus on love, before you can even think about love. There are some things within your family you feel like you need to take care of first, Cancer. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents.
keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I'm I'm speaking to a cancer whose family has too much say so on who you date and who you talk to. Your family probably already um excuse me, your family already picked out who you were going to marry. And you don't want to do that anymore. You don't want to always have to seek your family's attention or approval or things like that when it comes to your dating life, Cancer. It is safe for you to love and make your own decisions in regard to love. Heal those family issues. Keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from you, your usual type or and your family's usual type. The type of people you like ain't the type of people your family like, okay? All right, Leo. Leo, Leo, please. We got religious factors coming out for you, Leo. Your love life is being affected by your religious upbringing. Your love life is being affected by your spiritual beliefs. Your love life is being affected by your morals and your values and traditions. Your love life is being affected by um, things you learned growing up. We have honeymoon as well. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you want to enjoy the bliss of holiday time with someone. Clarify honeymoon for Leo. Let go of control issues, Leo. So if you are going out of town or your lover, friend, family, whoever it is, is trying to do something for you, let them do it their way, Leo. Just let them do it. Don't try to control everything. Don't try to be the boss of everybody as well, Leo. So these religious factors could be you have to be in control all the time. You have to be the boss all the time. You have to be the leader all the time. Leo is the leader. But let someone else lead, Leo. Let someone else lead. Let go of these control issues and just enjoy this time. Whether you're single or not, enjoy it. Okay? Enjoy the now. And you are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. All right, Virgo, where are you at? Virgo. Virgo. Okay. You got honeymoon and religious factors falling out, too. You could be dealing with a Leo. It's safe for you to love. Maybe it's safe for you to love this Leo. Don't have to be a Leo. <clears throat> it's safe for you to love. You do want to enjoy the this bliss of you want to enjoy the holiday bliss. All right, Virgo. Virgo. Heart to heart conversation. You want to have a heart to heart conversation with this person. This person wants to have a heart to heart conversation with you. You want to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you just want to sit down and have a talk. You're asking them to trust you. Maybe they're asking you to trust them. Trust me, okay? Somebody wants to talk. You want to talk. You feel like you're ready to have the conversation now. It's it's about time we have this talk. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So... Let your friends help you. Maybe you've been talking to your friends and you're like, should I talk to them? I don't know if I'm ready to have this talk. And they're like, do it, bro. Or they're like, do it, sis. Yes. Let his ass know. Let them know, Virgo. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want, Virgo. Do you want this or do you not? Have that talk with yourself as well. This heart-to-heart -heart conversation could be you being honest with yourself, too. So that you maybe want to go into a new phase of how you handle relationships. It's a new season on how to love as well, Virgo. Anything else for Virgo? Forgiving and learning. So you have forgiven your parents. You've forgiven things that happened in the past. You've learned from it. You're ready to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You're ready. You could be worried on if someone loves you back. Maybe you decided, you know what, I don't even feel the same way about this situation. Now I need to honestly decide on having this talk and just letting this person know, hey, you know what, this cycle is over. I don't feel the same. I apologize. I've learned from the situation. I know the part I played. Or it could be in the past, you were like, you know what, 
I know I wasn't sure about what I wanted back then, but I am now. I want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I hope you can forgive me. We learned from the situation. So whatever this very soon is for you, Virgo, just decide on where you are and what you, what you want and how you want to move forward. Libra. Libra. Oh, you deserve love, Libra. You are lovable. That's why new love is coming into your life. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Can you tell us more about this new person that Libra's with? Maybe it's a new person that just came into your life now or they're about to come into your life. This new love. Tell us more about this new love. Attraction. You attracted them. They attracted you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So you guys enjoy each other's time, enjoy each other's company, enjoy each other's conversation. And you are lovable. They tell you all the time how lovable you are. They make you feel so lovable every, all the time. This new person. All right, Scorpio. A lot of cards came out, but the only card that came out upright was Deception. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, my bad. That was just my back. It was just my back, y'all. We got a lot. It's what what making the stallion say mm -hmm. something about jelly not jam i don't know fuck it okay y'all <laughs> who are you on scorpio what is Scorp what is uh, what is megan she's a aquarius ain't she you could be dealing with an aquarius y'all know we got y'all know we got to connect the dots somewhere okay children Children could be involved. You could want children right now. Your person could want children right now. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe how, maybe some things that you still do that you used to do as a child. Maybe things that your person still does that they used to do as a child. Okay? Children may be some type of factor. And then we have engagement. Maybe you want to get engaged to your baby mom or baby dad or someone around you, y'all. Anything else for Scorpio? I hope somebody's not lying about having kids. A secret baby. Secret love affair. Wedding. Somebody eloped and y'all don't know about it. This situation involves marriage. Maybe you want to get married. They want to get married. Maybe this person is already married. Maybe you're already married. Clarify wedding and children. This could be the one. Okay, so you feel like your person, for some reason, and I get, I'm get, i getting some of you Scorpios don't really like dating people with children, or you don't like dating people who've been married already once before. But this person, you feel like they could be the one. Or you could have fallen in love with a married guy, or fallen in love with a married woman. But for some reason, it's like they treat you better than the rest of these fuck-ass people out here. And this person could be a polygamist. You could be a polygamist. This don't have to be your story either. Give me one more for Scorpio. Give your relationship a chance. Love yourself first. I get that this person is already in a connection or you're already in a connection. I think the I think when you guys connected, they were on a break from their person, or they just lied about it. We did I did see deception. I wish y'all could have seen it. It fell on the floor. I'm going with it, y'all. I'm sticking with my guns. So that was for one group of Scorpios. I'll do another one for you. All right, what's going on for Scorpio for Valentine's Day? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. 
heart to heart conversation. They're coming back to have a talk with you, a conversation with you. Honestly, discuss your feelings for one another. Um, and then getting to know each other. They want to. They want to go back to the beginning and start over again. Sagittarius. Okay, Sag. Ooh. Getting to know each other, and then we have soulmate coming out. So you have a soulmate coming into your life. Maybe they could have just recently entered, or they're about to enter now. And this is the person that you will get married to. You have passion. You will be very passionate about each other. This person could be another Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in their chart just like you. I'm getting you guys have... Ooh, I'm ashy. I'm getting you guys have the same sign in your rising or Venus or something or Jupiter even. You and this person have the same sign in one of those areas, in one of those charts. Um getting to know each other it's going to feel like you know this person already you're going to want to be around them a lot and talk to them all the time as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your mind your bond deepens so this could be a new friendship as well i'm getting you get a new friend this is your confidant soulmate so you could have fallen in love with your best friend or fallen in love with somebody who was just a friend they've been there for you you've gotten to know this person you rock with this person now and you've realized damn this is my soulmate this is my soulmate i want to move to the next level and maybe you could be wondering on how you're going to propose this to them okay engagement and then passion i get you're going to pro literally i just i get proposal a real proposal so maybe you're proposing to someone capricorn Capricorn. It's safe for you to love Capricorn. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Open your heart, Capricorn. Heart to heart conversation. Open your heart and have this conversation. Open your heart and profess, I want to be loved. I want to receive love. I want to give love. You could be having this conversation with your person or having this conversation with God, okay? Having this conversation with yourself. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Capricorn is making the decision to be more um, consistent in love, be more proactive when it comes to their romantic life, be more decisive. You know what? I'm, I'm going to really make my mind up about this. And more conscious about it. Yeah, I want a romantic life. It's safe. Okay. You go, you're going to talk about this. And it's going to happen very soon. Romantic feelings. Definitely. Ooh. So, <clears throat> maybe you already know someone in mind. You already have someone in mind. And you're like, hmm, am I going to shoot my shot at them? We're going to get the ball rolling. Make this happen. Okay, very soon. Clearly decide what you want from this person. Okay, so that it happens now. Aquarius. True love, Aquarius. This is the romance of a lifetime. If you haven't met this person yet, here they come. Let your friends help you. It could be one of your friends. Maybe somebody you talk to your friends about. <clears throat> Ask for and accept support from others. All right. Anything else for Aquarius? Chemistry. You have a lot of chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Maybe you are getting together with your girlfriends or your, your bros and you're, made, you're making a dating profile. You're getting on a dating app. You're like, what you think about him, sis? Or you're talking with your guys. What you think about this girl, bro? Or whatever the guys say. Okay. You do want to experience the romance of a lifetime. I See, if chemistry is coming up, I, I think this, this is somebody already in your energy. You may not know them yet, have met them yet, but you feel them. They're already in your energy. 
okay religious factors you could meet this person at school at work at a job at some type of institution but, <clears throat> pisces pisces last but not least my pisces This could be the one, Pisces. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Clarify this could be the one. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want. So, do you want to come back around, Pisces? Do you want a reconciliation? Now, you. this could be a friend that you know. Or maybe an old co-worker. Or maybe somebody you met and y'all are just acquaintances. <clears throat> It could even be a past life person. Clearly, clearly decide what you want so that this person comes to you now. The person that you feel that you've already met. Okay, so is this a comeback around? I'm, I'm asking. Okay. Playfulness. You want to be more playful this time? Maybe you, maybe you were too strict or too, you know, by the book and not fun and Saw things only your way, from your perspective. You want to try again. Or maybe in new love, you want this person helps you open up, see things from different perspectives and things like that. And you're like, dang, I think I've already met the person I seek. I just didn't notice at the time. So clearly decide what you want. Be more open and be more playful. So recapture romance. So you want to recapture this romance. Come oh come back around. Or maybe a new spark. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This romantic partner you feel that you've already met, that you seek. Alright, you guys, let's get some collective energy going on. What's going on in the love and romantic life of my collective. Okay, everybody. We have romantic feelings. So love is in the air collective. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you're not going to be the only one who have feelings this time. This person's going to have feelings too. Passion. Going to be very passionate about you. But don't jump in that bed with them so soon. Get to know them. Yes, the passion's there. The passion is there. The romance is there. The chemistry is there. Okay? Let the stability be there too. The longevity. Is the longevity there? Damn. Mm -hmm. Hold on. No, y'all didn't collective. I could whoop y'all right now. <laughs> I know y'all can't see it, but it says reconciliation. Okay, someone from your past is returning to your life. Can you give me one more on reconciliation, please? I have no words for y'all. I have no words for y'all. Getting to know each other. This person wants to get to know you again. I hear, can we make it like it was? That's all I have, collective. I don't know what to do with y'all. I don't know what to say about y'all. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then you have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So reveal your innermost selves to each other so that your bond can deepen. I love you. Y'all be safe. Check out all the all signs readings I've done. I've done individual signs for you guys as well. Your monthlies will be uploaded. Um before the end of this week this was your valentine's day special and check out um the men appreciation readings check my channel out like share subscribe leave me a comment leave me a love donation book a personal reading with me follow me on all my social media until i see you again check out all your other readings and check the description box y'all be safe i love y'all Bye bye